One of the things that I don't get about um, gang stalking <clears throat> is there's a woman in the news who uh, has some audio footage of people coming into her home and like drilling a camera in her house. And it's like, it was like ABC or San Diego or something like that that did some new, did news coverage on it. And when you go to that video on YouTube and you look at the news coverage that's on there and you read all the comments, um, the people in the comments like generally accept this as being the truth because it's in the mainstream media. And you don't hear too many people, like, there's no comments on there saying this woman's delusional or she's making it up, she's crazy, whatever. Like, people pretty much have accepted her story because she's in the mainstream media. And they painted a pretty vivid, accurate picture of what was happening, right? Then there's a few more um, news stories about gang stalking. And people generally accept those on those channels when you go and look at the views of, the, of that news footage that's up on YouTube, people accept it. But then <clears throat> when regular people come online and they say, hey, I'm being gang stalked, um, like my neighbors are following me around. Well, there was a guy on Fox News that said that and uh, Fox News had uh, interviewed him. And it was a Fox News station in California. I think it was like the Bay Area, California, Northern California. And when somebody comes online and they're not on the news and they're just a regular person and they start saying they're being gang stalked and their neighbors are doing it, then the first comments that come back um, are people who, who are critical of that. And they say, well, you need to go get professional help. You're delusional. Like, the first thing is, why the fuck would somebody need to go get professional help for being delusional if they say a crime is being committed against them? The first reaction should be, if you believe you're being stalked by a group of people, a crime is being committed, then you should contact a criminal investigator or a private investigator and get a real investigation done so they can find out what's going on. Now, it'd be easy for the FBI or even the police department to go question these people and they'll find out that these people are being recruited uh, online through through my neighbor apps on their phones. Um, <clears throat> there was a woman who uh, contacted me back in 2016 through email and she said she was a gang stalker and she said that um, she was approached at a shopping mall and paid $100 to follow a man around. And they, they paid her to change her hair color. And she had to follow him in her car with the brights on. Then she said after they paid her that $100 in person when they first met her, then they contacted her through a stop smoking advertisement on the phone. Like they would call her from a 1-800 number and it would be a stop smoking advertisement. And then after the advertisement, they would give her instructions on what to do. Like, what were her assignments going to be that day? And at first, she was telling me she didn't want to do it. She had seen my videos about gang stalking. And she didn't want to do it. She didn't want to follow this guy around. And I was telling her to give me more information. Like, give me the number. Give me more information. And I wanted to talk to her on the phone, and she wouldn't do it. Then she said she was going to keep doing it and making money off it. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't even understand the point why this woman contacted me, telling me that she was involved with gang stalking, <clears throat> if she was too afraid to go further and talk on the phone and everything. But anyway, so, um, so there's people out there who uh, are being, if the police did an investigation, the FBI did an investigation, they could find out how these people are being recruited, how they're being used. And, and asked to participate in all that stuff. But it appears that the government has some sort of agenda within itself to where they don't want to get involved. Like the police don't want to get involved and the FBI doesn't want to get involved. There's only one real gang stalking case that I heard of where the FBI got involved and that was the Paulita Cooper case. 
But uh, <clears throat> other than that, it just seems like law enforcement and police are real apprehensive to get involved. And, you know, it's obvious that they're being told by the higher-ups that they can't have anything to do with arresting people for gang stalking and all this stuff. So, it, you know, it's fucking crazy because it's like people that are people that are doing this stuff there's no there's no uh consequences they can just keep going on and on and on so there's all kinds of people coming out and going public with their stories saying listen this is happening to me i'm being followed around by my neighbors every time i go to a store the same people show up at the store and wait for me to leave and they leave i go to another store it happens another store happens and uh <clears throat> like Ted Gunderson, he was one of the former heads of the Los Angeles FBI. He came out and he told his story. And it's like, oh, because it's Ted Gunderson, people will believe it. And because it's Ted Gunderson, people won't question him. And people are kind of scared to talk about that because he was a high ranking FBI agent. You know, but then when it happens to regular everyday people who um, who, who are just living their lives, then nobody believes that people are critical, then people attack you and stuff like that. And so I, I really don't get it. I really don't get how they, the public is so fucking stupid. Like, these motherfuckers are so fucking stupid. Like, they have to, they're, they're so brainwashed from, they spent their whole life on television. Like, they have to have, like, Fox News or NBC say something for it to be real. Like, it can't be, like, something isn't allowed to be real. Unless the mainstream media says it's real. You see what I'm saying? That's the aggravation that a lot of people are going through is they keep saying the same fucking thing every single day. Like every single day these people are being stalked and harassed. They keep saying the same fucking thing every single day. Like who would sit there for years and years and years and years saying the same fucking thing every day if, if it wasn't real? You see what I'm saying? I don't know of any delusional or crazy people that are on YouTube saying they're being followed around every day. Every single day they're saying it and it's not really happening. Like the people who are online talking about this are the people who are, have to deal with this every day so they keep talking about it every day. You see what I'm saying? Like it doesn't make any fucking sense and they don't change their story. See, that's the thing about it. If somebody is lying about something, then they're going to change their story to some degree, and they're going to have to change um, the, the important parts of their story and, and, and manipulate their story as it evolves, as time evolves and change it. These people have, people don't change their story. Like, my story has been the fucking same over and over and over again. Like, I tell people, I did like 10 years of conspiracy research. I never got gang stalked while I was out there talk, making phone calls and going around talking about it and everything and then I did like <clears throat> six hours of interviews with a well-known researcher he turned out to be a Freemason and all that stuff I ended up exposing it online and that's when I started getting gang stalked and you know what I'm saying like why it doesn't make any fucking sense why like why would somebody wait till they were 30 something years old to just come out with some story that they're being followed around by people and it's not really happening. It just doesn't add up. Like these people, these spectators are so fucking stupid. And one of the things that's happening in this country is this is like a Holocaust scenario. You know what I'm saying? I bet you like if, if the Jewish people during World War II were able to talk now, that the ones that were there, I bet you they'd be saying that there was people saying the same stuff, like, man, they're building prisons, they're going to put us all in prisons and stuff, the government's getting more and more intrusive, and pretty soon, people had to wear those Star of Davids everywhere they went and stuff like that, and just kept getting worse and worse and worse, till eventually all these people were sent away to fucking death camps, where they died of starvation, disease, and gas chambers and all that stuff. Same thing in the Soviet Union. Like, the Soviet Union, you know, there's people from America who write books about how horrible the Soviet Union is and if a journalist was critical of the government, of the Russian government during the time of the Soviet Union, and is, I'm sure it still happens there now, these people would get put away in uh, 
like re-education camps and, and mental clinics and stuff. And they would say the person was delusional to think that the government was doing this and doing that in the Soviet Union. Same thing in Cuba, same thing in China, same thing in a lot of these governments where the people are critical of the government, the government will take them away and put them somewhere. See, in America, people are discovering that this stuff is happening here. Like, people talk about <clears throat> uh, the Vietnam, the Gulf of Tonkin incident, 9-11, John F. Kennedy, Robert F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King, uh, Martin Luther King's uh, brother, A.D. King, was killed the next year. Uh, Martin Luther King's mother was murdered in the 1970s. Like, there's obviously a conspiracy on the King family, the Kennedy family, uh, Malcolm X, uh, um, just a whole Medgar Evers, uh, just a whole bunch of them, man. Even... Even um the conspiracy researchers have come out over the years like William Cooper, May Brussel, Phil Schneider, uh, Jim Keith. Um, there's a bunch of them who ended up dead after. There's a bunch of people during the civil rights era. There's a bunch of people uh, <clears throat> during cons during their conspiracy research. Even one of the things I was researching Jonestown where. Congressman Leo Ryan was getting reports that those people in Jonestown were being held there against their will, and there was mind control experiments being done. He went down there, he got murdered, and the government covered the whole thing up. They they murdered those hundreds of people that were there and didn't want the truth to come out about the government connections that Jim Jones was involved with. And uh, there was a body double involved. The real Jim Jones didn't even die there. Like, there's a whole bunch of crazy-ass shit coming out now. And, uh, you know, this gang stalking stuff, like I'm looking at, like on my screen, there's a picture of, uh, attorney Myron May. Myron May was, uh, uh, gang stalked. He was a prosecutor. Um, and then he left the, he left the district attorney's office or wherever he was at. And he became a regular attorney. And this guy just started making YouTube videos about how he was being gang stalked. And then he couldn't take it no more. He took a gun to a campus and started shooting people. You know, I don't blame him. You know what I'm saying? He was sick of being harassed. And uh, Myron May, why would why would somebody go through law school and become a prosecutor and then become an attorney and just start saying people are following them around if it's not really happening? It doesn't make much fucking sense. Like, these people are fucking stupid that watch these videos. I can't believe how many fucking morons there are that think like, 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 what the fuck am I doing here? If okay, if I was in gang stock for four and a half years, why the fuck would I sit there and interview like dozens of people who are who claim to be victims of gang stalking, have all this footage and stuff? Why would why would I spend so much time doing that? That doesn't make any fucking sense. It's really crazy. <clears throat> 